Today we will be playing the worst review NCAA football game of all time. That football game is NCAA Game Breaker 2003. NCAA Game Breaker 2003 was released August 14, 2002, and it still to this day has a Metacritic score of 53. I mean, I remember playing this game growing up. I was a huge fan of 989 Sports, but at the end of the day, EA reigned supreme back then. I mean, let's take a look at some of these reviews. Electronic Gaming Monthly said, Play either of the other PS2 NCAA games and look smarter for it. Official US PlayStation Magazine said, just pick up NCAA 2003 and forget this one even exists. But things weren't all that bad, they did receive some positive reviews, like this one. GameZone gave it a score of an 81, saying the game does stumble in a couple of areas, but the program pulls together a wide range of elements for a challenging and enjoyable day of gridiron action. All right, boys, so first thing first here at the main menu, I wanna see what type of game modes they had in this game. So the first one up is scrimmage. I'm assuming that's gonna be their style of an exhibition game. Yeah, that is actually gonna be it. You can pick whatever team you want. It looks like this game actually only has NCAA Division 1A, which is actually an L because their counterpart NCAA 03 you know what I'm saying, had, had the FBS teams and stuff like that. So that right there is an L in my opinion. Next up, we got bowl season. Now we are on an emulator with this. I have no idea what bowl season is, but luckily for you, I own a hard copy of this game. And when's the last time you've seen a manual for a video game? So let's go ahead and take a look at what the manual says bowl season is. A bowl season is a complete college football season. At the end of a bowl season, if your team finishes with a high enough ranking, it may have the opportunity to play in one of the college football's prestigious bowl games. So uh, choose a team for your season from any conference in Division uh, 1A. So of course, man, you guys already know we're gonna pick the Miami Hurricanes. We didn't make a bowl game in real life this year, so we would have failed this challenge. We go 11-0, 7-0 in conference, man. And, and we are in the Tostitas Fiesta Bowl. This year's national championship, we would be taking on number two, Texas. So, okay. So, and you take a look at the other bowl games, Orange Bowl with Fresno State versus, versus Bum SU. Did you know this is old because it's the Nokia Sugar Bowl, UGA versus LSU, Rose Bowl, Stanford versus Michigan State. So, Heisman Trophy, it goes to, it goes to our quarterback, Ken Dorsey. You know what I mean? Shout out to him. Take a look at the awards they have. They got freshman of the year. Quarterback of the year, running back of the year, receiver of the year, O lineman, D lineman, linebacker, defensive back. So they don't have any actual names for the awards, but they do have awards. And the best of the best, college All Americans. So they do have a they do have All American first team uh, offense, All American first team defense, second team offense, second team defense. Okay, All freshman team. So they have freshman All Conference as well. I mean, I, I said All Americans, but they also have All Conference performers as well. So, okay, so pretty standard stuff. All right, guys, so bowl season, we got that. Next up, we got tournament season. Let's take a look at what the book says tournament season is. All right, tournament season consists of playing a, a regular season schedule. At the end of the season, playing in a postseason tournament. Set up for the tournament season uh, is the same as the bowl season. All right, boys, so the season is over. This time, they go 9-2, and two, losing to Florida and losing to Tennessee. Now, we go to the tournament so the opening round of the tournament is going to be uh, Texas, Fresno State, Marshall, Michigan State, Nebraska, Louisville, Florida, BYU. At the completion of a tournament season, if your team qualified for postseason play, you would enter the tournament series. The season ending tournament is made up of the top 16 teams in the country and, and will be bracketed into four regions with each region winner playing in the semifinal matchup. The semifinal matchup will determine the two teams in the national championship. Pretty much like what we got going on now because they want to up this up to, to 12 teams. If Florida won the tournament, can we actually take a look at the, at, the, at, the, at the brackets? Okay. So these were the top 16 teams. Fresno State beat Texas. Michigan State beat Marshall. Louisville beat Nebraska. Florida beat BYU. Tennessee beat Wake Forest. Oklahoma beat Miami. Florida State beat Washington State. Stanford beat Colorado. Then Michigan State beat Fresno State. Florida beat Louisville. Tennessee got blown out by Oklahoma. Florida State lost to Stanford. Florida beat Michigan State, Oklahoma beat Stanford, and then Florida beat Oklahoma in the natty. Okay. All right, so we got went through bowl season, tournament season. Now we got tournament mode. Tournament mode. All right, so this is pretty self-explanatory. We don't got to read it. You can do eight teams or 16 teams. You create your own tournament. You play all the way through to see who's best. All right, boys. And then lastly, the last mode before exhibition is coaching career. And if I'm not mistaken, this coaching career is similar to like the coach carousel. So they might have been ahead of, their, ahead of themselves here. So coaching career. Coaching career coaching career enables you to perform the duties of a head coach from among the NCAA Division 1A teams 
you'll be able to select an, an available job for from a smaller school to help build their program after selecting a job and playing out a season your coach will be evaluated and you may become a candidate for a coaching position or a better job offer from a more prestigious school this will depend on the success of your team in a specific area uh, of your coaching expertise it, it is also possible that your team will perform poorly and your school will decide to let you go it's another paragraph after that i'm not going to read it so i want to jump into this and see what it is so you can become a defensive coordinator an offensive coach a defensive coach or a special teams coach i've never seen somebody be able to be a special teams coach all right boys so another thing about this coach career i thought you could pick whatever team you wanted but you absolutely cannot there is just a, a select few of teams for each position you can pick and we're gonna go ahead let's pick let's pick let's pick let's pick jersey and let's go with Rutgers. they have your career progress so Number of national championships, conference championships, bowl games played. Uh, you have goals for advancement, rank 15th or better, less than 400 yards of uh, of team defensive game. Um, you, so those are our two things. And then they have our current ranking, which is number 57. They got our current record, our career record, current stats. All right, so this is pretty deep and in, in, in depth. All right, boys, so we simulated a season with Rutgers, right? And let's take a look at um, career progress. So rank 15th or better, less than 400 yards per game. Excellent. So we hit two of our goals, right? Um, our team was ass, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, you know, the offense, the offense was horrible, but the defense did well also. Okay, start next season. So coach career seems to be the only season mode where you can actually do more than one season. The Rutgers head coach to Rutgers defensive coach, your 2002 season uh, evaluation. We don't have the resources that other schools have, but we still did a pretty good job last year. Your efforts on behalf of the kids, the program, and the school are greatly appreciated. We've proven more, we've proven we can win at this level. Now uh, let's work even harder to become a consistent performer here. Great job, keep up the good work. Current position is is Rutgers head coach, right? So we we can be a defensive coordinator for a newer school. We could be an offensive coach for a newer school. We could be a defensive coach for a newer school and special teams coach. So we did it for so for the number eleven team team in the nation. Eleven team for the number eleven team in the nation. Number fourteen team in the nation. Number eighteen team in the nation. So we did well enough to get special teams coach offers from the bigger schools, but not necessarily a head coach, offensive coordinator, things like that. So. We did well enough to get an offer from Texas. So we're going to select Texas just because they're the number two team in the nation. They were in the natty. All right, so we are at the convert player stage. After your first year of coaching, you have the opportunity to look over your team's roster and convert any player to a new position. By evaluating your team's position needs, create more flexibility in my dog's barking. By evaluating your team's player position needs, create more flexibility in your recruiting efforts by having some of your current players switch positions. For example, a third string quarterback is usually big and agile enough to grow into a safety position. All right, so we got a soft, let's see what that looks like. A third string sophomore, so. Oh, so they automatically convert him to 6'5", 220 safety? 51 speed though. So what about this dude, right? Put him at safety, 79 speed, right? Running backs naturally go to fullback or linebacker. Wide receivers go to corner. Uh, he's a fullback. We could move him to running back or linebacker. So I move him to linebacker, right? I just want to move people for the sake of moving them just to see. What, what do DNs go to? Tight end? You can move a, a, a DN to tight end. So let's move him to tight end just for the sake. D tackles go to O tackle, O guard, center. So your D lineman can play the O line. Linebackers go to running back or fullback. Makes sense. Let's move him to running back. Safeties go to court. Oh, okay. And safeties go to quarterback. I figured out recruiting, right? We're not on auto anymore. So you have, we have 150 visit points. So you allocate it per region where you, where you, where you want, where you want them to go. So we'll put 10 on Southwest. The Southeast is where it's at. We'll put 25 there. We bought in a red shirt junior quarterback, a freshman, a freshman safety. That's a 94. Some of these ratings are wild. They're like a wide range. So clearly, this dude's a five star. This dude's a four star. It's probably a three star, two star, two to three star, one star, two star. Okay. All right, guys. So this is the moment of truth right here. Back at the main menu, we went over all the game modes. Now it's time for that scrimmage. I like torture. Never played this game in my life, but it's football. We're going to go ahead and put it on senior, which is their equivalent of Heisman. Simulation game style. Let's just go three minute, three minute quarter length. So they got some of, they got some of the, the dope teams from each team. This is before, of course, 
You know what I'm saying? Oh no, they even got the 01K. So let's do that. Let's let's go. Let's go. Um, let's go all time teams. All right, so we're gonna go 01 Canes versus uh, versus Peyton Manning. Welcome to Miami. We've got a dandy of a game tonight between the Miami Hurricanes and the Tennessee Volunteers. Welcome to Game Breaker 2003. Tim Pratt, I'm Keith Jackson. What do you think of this matchup, Tim? These are the kind of matchups you mark your calendar for. Two really great teams battling it out toe-to-toe. -to -toe. I can't wait for this game. We're looking at a clear night. Stars in the sky and some budding stars on the field ready to do a little paint swapping in the trenches. Looks like they're ready on the field. Right, so no tunnel runouts, no, no like real pageantry of college football. I mean, they told us everything we need to know, so that's not bad. Uh, Peyton Manning versus, uh, you know what I mean, Ken Dorsey. Imagine imagine having players still in the game that were on his team and just be like, nah, they too goaded. We got to put them on there. We had to remember a lot in video games, bro. How are we good at video games, bro? Okay. Okay. Hey, not a bad kick. Let's go. Who's the running back on this team, chat? Oh, we almost got a sack. He dropped it. And read. Oh, you can't move pre-snap. Ooh, and read laying a boom, baby. Let's get it, man. Sean Taylor. Young Sean Taylor. Pick. Oh, Peyton Manning out here throwing, throwing ducks, baby. Let's go. And 989 Sports, man. Shout out to them. I mean, they still do their thing with MLB The Show, but I wish they made everything else still. Are we gonna catch the punter? No. All right. Damn. Oh, we got wheels. We got wheels. We got wheels, baby. Let's go. The game looks great, man. I love emulators, bro. They're like the greatest thing ever created. Working on the outside. Oh, big hit. He gotta hold on to those, though, chat. All right. I was trying to scramble. It didn't work. Got him. Got him. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Dog, he is lighting me up, dog. Oh, I spun. I tried to I tried to uh, lower my shoulder, dog. Got him one-on-one. -on -one. Big catch. Give me that. Ah! We in the end zone, baby. Let's go. Oh my God! Make a play on the ball. All right, fourth fourth quarter. Payton is here, chat. Wide. Let's go. Clinton Portis, baby. He's wide. Come on. I mean, uh, in, like, cause like Game Breaker was my first. I mean, uh, not Game Breaker. Yeah, Game Breaker and Game Day. Those were my first uh football games. My uncle had it when the PS2 when the PS1 first dropped, and I said, man, these games are amazing. Come on, huh? Get, huh? Big boy runs, you feel me? Let's go. All right, five seconds left here. Oh, shit. Oh, no. They didn't let me call a timeout. We're going to OT, chat. God dang it. I mean, but who wants to who wants to end off one of these videos with a field goal? Make a play on the ball. Oh. Yo, this dude is killing me. Who is number 82 on the 97 uh, balls, bro? We cannot stop this man. They're going for two on the first OT? Oh, Lord. Here we go. Big tackle. Ken DeLong. He need to go, go the long way away from us. Come on, baby. The run after the catch on this game is not that strong. You get tackled almost immediately, but it is what it is. Come on, come on, y'all want to, y'all want to, y'all want to, y'all want to play? Let's play. Good tackle. Kevin Beard, baby, come on. Na 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 na, na 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 na. Hey hey hey. Goodbye. So, yeah, guys. So, Game Breaker 03. 
We've seen what the critics had to say in the intro of the video and everything like that, you know, but we went over we went over the game modes, we played the game, we got to see what the game looks like. I think they were a little harsh on it, mainly because of how good NCAA 03 was, the way as just how good as EA Sports' games were at the time. But this game has some things they did well. I think what Operation Sports said was on the money. The things they did well, they did well, but the things they needed to improve on, they definitely need to improve on. The hits in this game are dope. You know what I mean? The passing mechanics is, uh, is, is 2002. The running felt felt fluent. Return games was dope. Controls are a little tricky. And what's one thing about a lot of a lot of companies that aren't EA Sports, they try to be too innovative with the controls, trying to reinvent the wheel, and that turns off a lot of consumers. But all in all, I thought it was a great game, man. So if you guys enjoyed this video and you want to see the best reviewed NCAA football game of all time, stop and smash that like button. Hit me up in the comment section below. Subscribe if you're new. It's your boy Uncle Sam's Reject, rkgames.com. I'm out of here. Peace. Hey. <laughs> niggas want me to lose, but I can't. I've been stacking this shit to the ceiling. Know some niggas with bodies, and it ain't no probably. We never speak on them killers. Everybody on my block go get them some money. It's only a couple of drillers. I've been fucking them hoes, man. Them bitches ain't nobody. Boy, get the